Hello, my wonderful friend. Today's video is on seven female body language signs of attraction. These are hidden signs that she likes you. Wouldn't it be cool if you could tell how a girl felt about you just by looking at her. If there was someone really attractive, really cute, and you could tell just by looking at her that she thought you were cute too. That's pretty amazing, right? Well, this, my friend, is the power of body language. So if you want to make sure you avoid being rejected and instead know when to approach and when to flirt and how to interact with her, make sure you watch to the end because each woman is a little bit different. I have seven signs for you in this video and you're going to want to make sure you know each of those signs because not every woman uses each sign. Before we dive right into those signs, if this is your first time watching, my name is Melanie. I'm a Christian dating coach for men. I teach you how to stop wasting your energy on bad and dead-end relationships by learning the skills you need to get your dream girl. As a certified coach, what I teach you is based and backed by science, so there are zero mind games. If you're looking for a happy lifelong relationship, this is the very best way to do that. So make sure you subscribe, ring the notification bell, and give me a big thumbs up. So let's talk for just a second about body language. A lot of people are like, okay, what does that even mean? As humans, when we feel a certain way, you can see it in our bodies, right? You can tell just by looking at someone if they're cold or if they're angry or if they're excited. When someone feels something, you can see it in their bodies, right? The same is true of attraction. When someone is attracted to another person, they don't mean to show it, but because they feel certain emotions, you can see it in their bodies if you know what to look for. Isn't that exciting? This is why I love teaching my clients in my program about body language, because the truth is, guys, in all honesty, if you can read a woman's body language, you are light years ahead. So with that, let's dive into seven female body language signs of attraction. These are the hidden signs that she likes you. So the first sign I want to share with you is if she glances over her shoulder at you. This often happens like in movies, if you pay attention for it. That is something girls do when they're like flirting and when they're like, oh, he's really cute and I hope he notices that I'm cute too. She has no idea she's doing it, but she totally does. So if you notice that she flirts over her shoulder with you or glances back at you over her shoulder, it is a very, very good sign that she's attracted to you, she likes you. Now you may be thinking, I don't know that I've ever seen a girl do that before. That's totally normal, this is very, very subtle. Now that you're aware of it, you're probably gonna start picking up on it a lot more. Now our next female body language sign of attraction, it's kind of a tongue twister if you say it really fast. <laughs> our next sign actually cracks me up. I think this is the funniest sign ever, but it's so true. This sign is if she has limp wrists when she's around you. Have you ever noticed women will just like hold their hands like this? Some of them, not all women will do this. But if she's talking to you and she's got like this limp wrist thing going on, <laughs> I think it looks so funny. But the truth is so many women, that's what they do when they're around a man they are attracted to. The best part about body language and the reason it is so effective is that again, it's something we're not consciously doing. She's not, oh, he's super attractive. I'm gonna have a limp wrist, okay? It's something that, oh, he's attractive. And that makes her for some reason, makes her list, wrists go limp. So pay attention for those limp wrists. <laughs> okay, our next female body language sign of attraction is that she flips her hair. If you've seen some of my past videos, you know that it's a common sign if she plays with her hair when you are around. That's a pretty good sign that she likes you. One that a lot of people aren't aware of is, have you ever noticed how girls will flick their hair, whether it's long hair, short hair? Women frequently flick their hair around a guy they are attracted to. So if you notice that she flicks her hair a lot when she's around you, it's not just because she's like moving her hair, most likely. Most likely it is because she's attracted to you. Now I wanna pause for just a second and mention something that you really need to be aware of. I'm giving you some very, very powerful tips, some signs that show you if she's interested in you or not, which helps you know when to make a move. But here's the thing. I need you to think about. What are you going to do next? What these signs are is they just show that she's attracted to you. It does not mean she wants to marry you. It means she's attracted to you. She's interested in you. She wants to get to know you better. So what's your move? What's your next step? Because I have so many men come to me. Oh my goodness, I saw signs 
that she was interested, but I didn't get past the first date. Or we, I got her number and we started texting and now all of a sudden she won't text me anymore. Guys, women don't do this to be a jerk unless they're toxic women, but that's a topic for another video. She's not doing this to be a jerk. If you want a long-term relationship, you need to start thinking long-term. You need to start thinking big picture. Beginners and amateurs, they think small picture, but pros, the guys who get the girl of their dreams, they think big picture. So instead of just thinking, oh, does she like me and winging it from there, you really need to know how to move forward and what you're going to do. That just makes sense, doesn't it? So please do not use this information I'm giving you please do not use it recklessly because I don't want you to be rejected. The reason so many men will get so far and maybe get to the first or second date and then it all falls apart is because they don't have the skills they need. This is why you'll be thinking everything's going really well and then all of a sudden it just stops and you have no idea why. You need the right skills if you're going to have a happy long-term relationship. This is why I love teaching these skills to my clients. Now, before you freak out and panic, don't worry, I got you. The skills are simple once you know what they are, but if you don't know what they are, yeah, you're just gonna keep getting rejected and you're gonna keep getting ghosted. So I put together a free masterclass for you so that this does not have to happen to you anymore. You're going to learn about those skills. You're gonna learn the big mistakes that will keep you single and what to do instead so that that doesn't keep happening. There's a link to watch that masterclass in the description below. I will also put a link in the pinned comment. So bottom line guys, as I'm giving you these signs, make sure you know what you're going to do next or you are going to tank. That's reality. So make sure you watch that free masterclass so you don't have to worry about messing it up. Okay, are you ready for our next female body language sign of attraction? This one is kind of a funny one as well. When we are attracted to someone, we want to be close to them right? That just makes sense, doesn't it? However, especially if she doesn't know you very well, she may not actually be comfortable touching you yet. Instead, she may move into your personal space and back back out. Now, she's not going to be obvious about this moving into your space, moving back out. You know, she's not, she's not going to do it that way because the truth is, again, she probably doesn't even know she's doing this. But if you notice when you're talking with her, you're flirting with her, does she like kind of come closer and back up and come closer and back up? She may, um, you know, tease you and get like close and then like back up again and then like get close again and then back up again. This is her seeing how you react to her being close to you. This is her seeing if you're okay with her being close to you and kind of getting a feel for how you feel about her. So it's very, very common if she's attracted to you, if she's interested in you, for her to come into your personal space and out, in and out, kind of testing to see, is he okay Then I'm this close to him? Does he maybe like me too? This is another really subtle sign, but once you become aware of it, all of a sudden you'll be like, oh my goodness, she's totally moving in and out of his bubble. It's crazy. Okay, our next female body language sign of attraction is if her hips sway when she's walking towards you. This is again something most women don't think, oh, I'm gonna let my hips sway because <laughs> I'm walking towards him. Something she doesn't realize, but if she's attracted to you, she feels like more feminine around you and she obviously Obviously wants you to be attracted to her and so it's very common for her hips to sway as she is walking towards you okay our next sign is kind of crazy but it's one of the easiest to spot and the most effective our feet reveal what we are thinking about. If someone is in a conversation they don't wanna be in, their dominant foot will be pointed away from that conversation. Or if somebody is talking to someone but they need to go take care of something over there, their foot will be pointed over there. It's really crazy how it works, but it totally does. This means if she's attracted to you, you're the one she's thinking about, which means her foot, feet or foot will be pointed at you. Even if she's talking to someone else, doing something else, if you kind of notice her foot and it's pointing at you, that is a, an incredibly good sign. Most often it will be her dominant foot, which is usually her right foot. But pay attention to where her feet are pointing. If you are talking to her and her feet are pointing at you, that means she wants to talk to you. If you notice her across the room and she's talking to someone else, doing something else, but her feet are pointed at you, that means she wants to talk to you. Now, of course, with all of these signs, this sign included, it's very important to make sure you keep everything in context, um, just so that 
that you don't misread a sign. I talk more about that in this video. Do make sure you give it a watch. It will help you avoid some serious disaster. And also learning the right skills is going to help you with this a ton too. So do make sure that you watch that masterclass to learn more about those skills. Okay, our next female body language sign of attraction is very, very similar to the one I just mentioned about her feet. And that is the direction her legs point in. This has more to do with when you are like sitting down. Um, when a woman is, is focused on a man, she will cross her leg with, with her crossed leg pointing towards the guy she's interested in, she's thinking about. So what I mean by um, her crossed leg, I mean the leg on top, not the leg sitting on the floor. This would be so much easier if I could demonstrate this for you guys, but I can't with my current setup. So I'm sorry about that. But if she, when she crosses her leg, the leg on top is most likely to be pointed at the guy she's thinking about or interested in. Now, as I mentioned just now, you do have to keep everything in context because full disclosure here, sometimes your legs fall asleep and you gotta cross them the other way, okay? It just happens. So again, with body language, you have to keep everything in context. So do make sure you watch this video. It will help you a lot. Um, but just know that it's very common for if you are in a like sitting situation for her to cross her leg towards the guy she's interested in. Okay, let's sum up what you've learned so far about the female body language signs of attraction. First, notice if she flirts with you over her shoulder or glances at you over her shoulder. Next, look for those limp wrists. <laughs> I don't, okay, comment and tell me if you think that one's as funny as I do, because I think that one's really funny, I don't know why. Next, look for that hair flip. Hair flips are definitely something girls do when they are attracted to you. Another fabulous female body language sign of attraction is if she comes in and out of your personal bubble, trying to see how you react when she gets close to you. Next up, her hips sway when she's walking towards you or when she knows you're looking at her. Our next body language sign of attraction is if her feet are pointed towards you. And this also applies with her crossing her leg pointed towards you. Our feet reveal where our mind is. And if she's thinking about you, her feet are going to be pointed towards you. But stop. Before you stop watching this video, I have to say it one more time, guys, because I have so many men message me saying, hey, why didn't it work? Make sure that you do not use this information recklessly, okay? You do need to make sure you have the right skills so that you can attract your dream girl instead of just ending up being ghosted and rejected and having dead-end relationships over and over again. Do make sure you watch that masterclass. It's going to give you some amazing clarity so that you can move forward and be successful and instead of keep being rejected. Sound good? Make sure you check out that link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching, my amazing friend. If you learned something new, be sure to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe and ring the notification bell if you haven't yet. I wanna hear from you in the comments. Have you ever noticed any of these signs and which of these signs do you think is the hardest to spot? I wanna hear about it in the comments below. Do you have a friend who's struggling to read women's body language, who's struggling to know if a girl likes him? If you do, please share this with him. I know it would really help him and it would mean the world to me if you would shout it out on social media. If we're not yet friends on social media, I would love to connect with you there. So do make sure you check out those links in the description below as well. Thank you so much, my amazing friend, and have an amazing day. Hello, my wonderful friend. Today's video is on seven... <laughs> I never get further than that. Hello, my wonderful friend. Today's video is on seven... <sighs> my name is Melanie. I'm a Christian dating coach for men. I teach you... <laughs> That's not what I teach. <laughs> That's just what I do. Why is my necklace like really shiny today? What is up with that? I think if I scoot over, it doesn't shine so much. Yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> my brain is somewhere else today. Now you may be thinking, I have never seen a girl do that before. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Oh, it's one of those days. Okay. It just looks funny. I can't help it. <laughs> okay. Shake it off. <laughs>